how to find out the zeros of the polynomial that we will see in this video hello friends myself sunil kumar jado standard 9th and 10th mathematics in which the question is there find out the zeros of the given polynomial this question has been asked by one of my viewer so this will be helpful for all the students who wanted to learn about how to find out the zeros of the polynomial let us see the question find the zeros of the polynomial the polynomial is given that is px is equal to 3x square plus x minus 2 you know we need to find out the zeros of the polynomial so first i will write this polynomial here that is px is equal to 3x square plus x minus 2 you know when we need to find out the zeros first of all we have to find out the factors of this given polynomial and then we should keep that p of x is considered to be zero and then we are moving ahead and find out the value of x that is the zero of the polynomial let us move first of all we'll try to factorize this as i already inform you that for the factorization we need to take the coefficient of x square that is three and the constant term we need to multiply both of them so i will multiply both of this this is three and 2 so 3 into 2 is equal to 6 as we got this 6 6 has to factorize in such a way that here you can see the sign this is minus so we need to factorize 6 in such a way that the factors of both of this that is 3 sorry 6 both the factors would have the sign it is minus so subtraction of both those factors would be this particular term it is x means it is 1x so we can consider that two factors we need to take in such a way that the subtraction of both of that factors must be 1x or we can say 1 you know there are various factors that is one factor we already written 3 into 2 6 other factor that is 6 into 1 is equal to 6 but we need to take the subtraction of both of those term will be equal to 0 so 3 minus sorry the subtraction of both of those terms would be equal to 1x it means we need to take it 1 so 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 so we'll take this factor 3 into 2 i'll write it here it is as it is 3x square it is a plus sign means the greater term should have the positive sign as we need to do the subtraction but here the term is given which is plus means greater term should have the positive sign then plus minus the greater term sign we are keeping there so it is plus so i will take the greater term that greater term is 3 out of this 3 and 2 so i'll write it 3x the other term is 2 as we need to do the subtraction i'll write or i'll give the sign to that negative minus 2x minus 2 these are the factors we did now you can see that is 3 to the 6 that is done and 3x minus 2x is equal to 1x along with the greater term sign the greater term is 3 and its sign is plus so it is 1x now here we need to take it the common here it is 3 both of them x is also common so what is remaining here 3x has gone out so what is remaining it is x the sign plus here 3x 3x the entire term has gone out so it is remaining 1 minus from both of this term we will see then 2 is common minus 2 will take it common if minus sign is taken out you know both the sign will get changed so minus 2 here the sign will change it is plus x and here also minus sign taken as common so here also plus 2 has gone out what is remaining here the x is remaining and here it is remaining 1 so what are those two factors we can see x plus 1 i'll write it here x plus 1 and what is remaining here 3x and minus 2 so that is the other factor 3x minus 2 you know we need to find out the zeros means this p of x will consider to be equal to 0 so i'll write it here that is x plus 1 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 it means multiplication of both of this is considered to be 0 it means either x plus 1 is equal to 0 or this 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 in this case we need to take it this value of x we want to find out so 1 i will take it at the other side so i can write it x is equal to 1 will be going at the other side 
the sign will get changed so x is equal to minus 1 plus 1 we'll go bring it at the other side or we can say plus 1 we need to remove so we'll add it minus 1 at both the side here plus 1 minus 1 will be eliminated so here x is equal to 1 or 3x i'll put it here 2 i'll bring it at the other side minus sign is there so it becomes plus at the other side and hence x is equal to it is in multiplication so other side it will go in division so 3x is equal to 2 hence x is equal to 2 by 3 so value of x we got it there are two values of x that is x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 2 by 3 even we can check cross check the polynomial is this 3x square plus x minus 2 this is the end of the method but we are doing the checking of it whether these values are correct or not let us keep this first value x is equal to minus 1 i'll keep it 3 minus 1 square plus minus 1 minus 2 you know 1 square is equal to 1 and minus 1 square is also equal to plus 1 3 ones are 3 plus minus minus 1 and here minus 2 so minus 1 minus 2 will be equal to minus 3 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 so it is checked that this value is correct in the similar way we will check this value the polynomial again i'll write it here i'll put the value of x that is 2 by 3 3 into bracket 2 by 3 whole square plus x it is 2 by 3 minus 2 here in this case you know it is a square so i'll put the square 2 square is equal to 4 and 3 square is equal to 9 plus as it is 2 by 3 minus 2 here you can see 3 and 9 it can cut here it is in multiplication so 3 3 is a 9 what is remaining here 4 by 3 so i'll i'll bring this answer here that is 4 by 3 it is remaining 4 by 3 plus 2 by 3 minus 2 you know here it is 1 so we'll take the lcm lcm is what lcm is 3 here already 3 is there so 4 here already 3 is there plus 2 here it is 1 so it will multiply by 3 so this will also multiply by 3 3 ones are 3 and this one that is 3 2 is a 6 but it is a minus sign so here you can see 4 plus 2 is equal to plus 6 minus 6 by 3 so 6 minus 6 0 by 3 is equal to 0 so this, this value is also correct so we can say that the fa factors of this polynomial 3x square plus x minus 2 is equal to first factor is minus 1 and second factor is 2 by 3 i hope you understand how to find out the zeros of this polynomial and both of these zeros we have put the value and we have checked whether they are correct or not i hope you understand if you like this video then share with your friends and ask your friend to subscribe my channel thank you so much